Living in Boston's West End neighborhood has become increasingly appealing over the past several years with many young professionals expanding and popularizing the area. This video will tell you exactly why people are eyeing this neighborhood and will discuss some of the reasons for avoiding this neighborhood. Don't click away as I will be going through the pros and cons of Boston's West End neighborhood that are unknown unless you've lived in the area. My name is Charlie Smith. I'm a real estate broker and advisor with expertise in Boston condo buildings and luxury properties. Feel free to ask me any questions about Greater Boston, relocating, or investing by setting up a free call or Zoom with me through the link in the description. The West End is located in the northern middle part of downtown Boston, bordered by the Charles River to the north and west, the Boston Common to the east, and Beacon Hill to the south. This neighborhood is known for its bustling, lively atmosphere and its unique blend of historic and modern architecture. In the mid-20th century, the area underwent a controversial urban renewal program that resulted in the demolition of many historic buildings in the neighborhood. The West End was transformed into a new neighborhood of high-rise buildings, luxury apartments, and modern commercial spaces. Despite the significant changes, some remnants of the original West End remain, including a few historic buildings and landmarks such as the West End Museum. Today, the West End is a bustling and diverse neighborhood with a mix of residential and commercial properties offering residents easy access to downtown Boston and the waterfront. In terms of demographics, the West End has a population of approximately 5,000 people with a mix of renters and homeowners. The neighborhood is popular with young professionals as well as students and healthcare professionals who work in the nearby Longwood Medical Area. The median age of residents in the West End is around 30 years old. The neighborhood has a large number of renters with only about 20% of residents owning homes. The median rent in the West End is around $3,000 per month for a one-bedroom apartment. Several notable luxury condo buildings in the West End include the Beverly located at 101 Beverly Street, which is a newly built high-rise with 14 floors of luxury condos featuring floor-to-ceiling windows and high-end finishes. Amenities include a fitness center, rooftop terrace, and a 24-hour concierge. Nine Hawthorne Place is a 26-story luxury condo building with stunning views of the Charles River and Boston skyline. The building offers high-end finishes and amenities such as a fitness center and outdoor pool. Lovejoy Wharf, right next to TD Garden, offers a mix of studios, one, two, and three bedroom luxury condos with high-end finishes and stunning views of the Boston Harbor. Amenities include a fitness center, rooftop terrace, and a 24-hour concierge. The Sudbury at 110 Sudbury Street is another luxury high-rise in the West End. The building offers a mix of one, two, and three bedroom condos with floor-to-ceiling windows and high-end finishes. Amenities include a fitness center, indoor pool, and a rooftop terrace with breathtaking views of the Boston skyline. There are options to rent or purchase in this building. In terms of apartment buildings, there is Hub 50 House located at 50 Causeway Street that boasts a range of studio, one, two, and three bedroom apartments with sleek finishes and high-end amenities. These include a state-of-the-art fitness center, a rooftop pool, and an outdoor terrace. Another popular apartment building in the West End is Avalon North Station, situated at 1 Nashua Street. Residents can enjoy on-site amenities such as a fitness center, resident lounge, and an outdoor courtyard. This building also features modern amenities such as a fitness center, rooftop terrace, and an outdoor grilling area. According to Niche, the median age of residents in Boston's West End is 31 years old, and 82% of adults have earned at least a bachelor's degree. The top occupations for those living in the West End include business-slash-finance, healthcare, and management positions, with many residents working at the Massachusetts General Hospital, which is right in the middle of the West End. Due to this, many of those living in the area are in grad school residency programs or are medical professionals. The median income in the West End is $98,000, with residents aged 25 to 44 typically earning $114,000. The West End is an exceptional location for several reasons. First of all, it offers quick and easy access to Cambridge, which is home to numerous biotech labs and prestigious universities such as MIT and Harvard. The proximity to these renowned institutions make the West End an ideal location for individuals working in the industries or attending schools in Cambridge. The West End is also very near the waterfront, providing residents with easy access to activities, restaurants, and entertainment options in Boston's North End and waterfront neighborhoods. The West End is a commuter's dream with excellent public transportation options. There are several tea stations located in the area so residents can get around Boston with ease. Additionally, the West End is very walkable, making it easy to get around the neighborhood on foot. The West End is also home to several major highways, making it convenient to travel outside of Boston for work or leisure. 
The proximity to Logan International Airport makes travel seamless for those who fly frequently. The commuter rail at North Station provides easy access to different parts of Massachusetts and other states. The West End also offers several parks and green spaces providing residents the opportunity to spend time outside. From the Charles River Esplanade to the Rose Kennedy Greenway, there are several outdoor spaces where residents can relax and enjoy nature. The West End has some of the best entertainment and nightlife options for residents in Boston. TD Garden, home to Boston Celtics and the Boston Bruins, is the main attraction in the area, offering sports fans an unrivaled game day experience. TD Garden also hosts numerous concerts and other events throughout the year, hosting A-list celebrity artists, comedians, bands, and more. For a unique nightlife experience, Big Night Live is a great option. This state-of-the-art music venue and nightclub features a rotating lineup of DJs and live performers, as well as a VIP area with bottle service and exclusive access to the stage. Another very popular spot in the West End is The Harp, a bar and restaurant located near TD Garden. The Harp is a favorite among locals for its casual atmosphere and extensive venue. This is a go-to spot for many sports enthusiasts and is also a very popular place on weekends for those going out. For a more upscale experience, Hub Hall is a new food court located in the West End, offering a variety of food and drink options in a sleek and modern setting. With over 18 different vendors, there's something for everyone at Hub Hall, from craft cocktails to gourmet sandwiches. Other bars in the area include the Alibi Bar and Lounge, and The Fours, a popular sports bar with a relaxing atmosphere and extensive drink selection. The West End also offers several high-end restaurants, such as Scampo, for dining out. The West End is particularly attractive to young professionals for several reasons. Firstly, it offers easy access to numerous job opportunities, especially in the tech and biotech industries. The proximity to Kendall Square and the Longwood Medical Area makes the West End a great location for those working in these sectors. The neighborhood offers many amenities that are desirable to young professionals, including trendy bars, nightlife venues, and luxury apartments. The West End also has several social events and networking opportunities that take place almost weekly, enabling residents to connect and get together. These include fitness classes, art shows, and concerts. Also, there are several co-working spaces, making it an ideal location for entrepreneurs and freelancers. These spaces provide a collaborative and creative environment, allowing young professionals to network and grow their business. The demographics of the West End are definitely on the younger side as well, making it even more attractive to those who are looking to connect with others their age. While the West End is surrounded on three sides by Boston's most expensive neighborhoods, the West End isn't quite as expensive. While there are many luxury apartments and condo buildings in the West End, the prices are still somewhat reasonable considering it's in the heart of the sixth most expensive city in the United States. This enables young professionals with less money who are just starting their first jobs or residency programs to live more comfortably. One area where the West End falls short is in terms of retail shopping. There are currently no major retail stores or shopping centers within the neighborhood. This lack of retail shopping options may be a downside for some, especially those who prefer to do their shopping close to home. It's important to note, however, that the West End is situated in close proximity to other neighborhoods and shopping districts where residents can find plenty of retail options. For example, downtown Boston is walking distance away, offering high-end retail options in department stores. Also, the nearby North End and Beacon Hill neighborhoods offer boutique shops and specialty stores that cater to a variety of interests. As mentioned, these options are walking distance and about 8 to 12 minutes away. Residents of the West End can easily access shopping destinations outside of Boston, such as the Cambridge Side Gallery in Cambridge, which features over 100 stores, restaurants, and a movie theater. Another popular shopping destination is Assembly Row in Somerville, which offers a range of stores and restaurants. These two options are less than 20 minutes away from the West End. The West End neighborhood has undergone significant changes over the years, resulting in a lack of charm in some areas. The construction of high-rise luxury apartments and commercial spaces has replaced many of the old historic buildings that once gave the area its unique look and feeling. The West End is also not known for its historical attractions. Unlike other neighborhoods near the West End, such as Beacon Hill and the North End, there are fewer historical landmarks and preserved architecture. While there are a few notable sites like the Old West Church, they do not offer the same level of charm and historic significance as other areas in the city. The West End also lacks the quaint cobblestone streets and narrow alleyways that are prevalent in other parts of the city, contributing to the lack of charm. For those seeking a more traditional Boston feeling, the West End may disappoint having been rebuilt in the mid-20th century after being demolished during urban renewal efforts.
This lack of long-standing history contributes to the overall sense of newness in the area, but can also make it feel less charming and distinct. As mentioned, the West End is primarily geared towards young professionals and may not be an ideal spot for families with young children. This is due to the high concentration of nightlife and entertainment venues. The lack of playgrounds close by also makes it difficult for families to find suitable outdoor spaces for their children to get exercise. The West End is also known for its active nightlife, which can be a turnoff to those who prefer a quieter and more laid-back atmosphere. Overall, the West End is a unique and lively neighborhood. Residents have easy access to Boston's business districts and top educational institutions. The nightlife and entertainment scene as well as the super central location make it a very desirable neighborhood. Whether you're considering the West End for living or investment purposes, it's important to weigh both the pros and cons to make an informed decision. If you have any further questions or would like to discuss your specific real estate needs, feel free to contact me anytime. Thanks again for watching and be sure to check out my channel for more information on the Greater Boston area and luxury homes.